Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just posted both these business card holder uh, with a living hinge on Epilogue's Facebook page under the file section. So if you want to use them, feel free. But I made this one first, and it fit my business card perfectly. But when I took some other business cards, they were really too tight. So I enlarged this one a quarter of an inch from 3.76 from 3.51. So I thought I'd just show you how I did that, and it's really, and all I did was put a, a longer uh, finger joint in here. So let's get rid of our dimension tool. We'll get rid of the, then we need to go to object and ungroup. We'll get rid of that. We'll move this out of the way. Now the three pieces that we need to change are these three right here. Let's zoom in here a little bit. We need this one to be turned around back to zero. <clears throat> now let's move this down here. Move this down here. Just getting it close. And then move this one up here. Now what you can do is select all everything and hit C. And it's going to center it. Now we need to take this top one and ungroup it. Because we don't want to mess up our cuts here. I'm going to grab them all. I'm going to control G, uh, G to group those together. My nudge distance is set on, I'm going to set it on 5 inches. I'm going to grab my lines and I'm going to move them over 5 inches. Keeping your nudge at 5 inches is very important. So we've got these all in the center. We're going to take a line. Two-point line, hold down the control button, get it just in our picture, and now select it all again and hit C. And now that line is in the exact center. While our nudge factor is still at 5, I'm going to move these out of the way this way. I'm going to control G or control D and make a duplicate of that box. Because of the fact that we have a weird shape at the top to make the this part of the box. And so take your virtual segment delete key and delete one side of the box. Then on this one, delete the other side. Then we can actually get rid of our line. Our line was there to help stop it. We're going to take and select all this and we're going to nudge it over five inches and we've got it right back to where it was. But we need it to be a quarter of an inch or so larger. So I'm going to change my nudge factor to 0.25. You don't probably really have to go that far. But then grab your one half and nudge it over. Now they're a quarter of an inch thicker. Grab your shape tool. Grab that arrow and just click it till it. If you've got snap to object on, that'll work. Now this one is going to be a little bit different because we're going to mess up this uh, symmetrical part. And this one doesn't really matter because you're going to change your outlook, but that looks good enough. Now what we need to do is take the, and you could weld this together, but I'm a big fan of uh, smart fill. Then move it out of the way. Well, I've got it set on a quarter. Go back to your five inches. Let's move our smart fill out of the way. Let's left click. No fill. Now I do have my smart fill set on hairline. And now we can get rid of these two halves. Now we can move this back to five inches. And move this back to five inches. Now you can see we're a little short. We're that quarter of an inch short, but that's very easily fixed. Just grab it and expand it, and it'll snap to. So you're done with this one. I would go ahead and take it and control G and group it out of the get together. And we're really done. Well, we have a smart fill this one. Let's smart fill it. And you can see I've got mine set on hairline. Grab our pick tool, move it out of the way, and we'll left click. Now we can get rid of these two halves. Now this is the one we need to make more symmetrical. 
So for just a second, we're going to group it together, control G. And for this time, we're going to put it P and put it in the center of the page. Makes it a little bit easier. But you can see how it's not symmetrical. We want it symmetrical. Take a two-point line, draw it down and hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm thinking this side looks better. So take your virtual segment delete key and delete that side. Delete our line. Control D to make a duplicate. And while you still have the control button down, move it over. Take your smart field tool, fill it in. Move it out of the way. Left click, get rid of this one. And there you have that file back. It was that easy to um, make it a quarter inch wider. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.